all right, I'm just going to show you, um, I'm going to do my exhaust cam for degree. Just a little, you know, video to show you what I'm doing. It's the same as the intake side. You want to set your, your um, what do you call it, your dial indicator. This flat down as possible on your bucket in this case um, for the K8 engine. This, this setup on the K8 engine is a cam over bucket. That means the cam pushes directly down on the valve to open or, you know, to close when the cam comes the opposite direction. Um, I've already done a video for the intake. Now I'm going to zero my gauge out because I preloaded it a little bit sitting on the exhaust side. It doesn't look like it's going to hit the cam lobe itself when I turn it over now. And this is now just after the compression stroke. Now, gonna zero it out again. Now, the industry standard is, is uh, 0 0.05 inch. And I'm turning over real slow right now. 0 0.045, 0 0.046, 0 0.047, 0 0.048, 0 0.049, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Close enough. Um, and it looks like before, bottom, dead center. 30, 28 degrees before bottom dead center. So going on my paper here, exhaust opens at 28 before bottom dead center. B, B, D, C. Okay, now we're going to look for our center lobe. To do that, I'm going to keep turning around until I get the highest number, I guess you could say, when the lobe is pointing face down on the bucket. Uh, gnarly. Okay, here we go. Going really slow right now because I can see it's almost pointing straight down. And I'm at 0.395. Point three nine five five. Point three nine six. And that is. I'm just double checking here. Um, seventy six. I'm just gonna write a seventy six. Doesn't mean anything yet. But I'm gonna go real slow. Still more. Negative three nine or negative point three nine seven. I think this is it right there. Oh, three nine eight. Okay. I'm going to go with 90, 89, so I'm 76 for 89, yeah, now she's coming the other way, okay, so going back to my paper right here, uh, I've got my exhaust opening at 28 before bottom dead center, and then 89 degrees. Um, that was after bottom dead center. Pretty much almost 90 after. That's our center lobe. Now we're going to find out 
when our exhaust closes. So I'm going to just turn this over super slow now. And it should be almost there. And we're looking for a 0 0.05 again once we come up on this other side here. Five. A little bit more. Right there. Perfect. And that is ten five degrees after top dead center. Actually, I'm going to say four because I'm actually showing. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go four degrees after. Top dead center. Okay, so now I'm going to show you fellas. By the way, I shaved my head last night just because I'm getting old and whatnot. But, anyways, here I'm going to switch it around here for you. Actually, no, I'm not because I don't know how to do that. I'm technical illiterate. Anyways, intake. Opens 9 degrees before top dead center. Center lobe, the highest point, 103 after top dead center. Close at 34 after bottom dead center. Exhaust, I have, opens at 28 degrees before bottom dead center. Uh, the highest point, center lobe at 89 after bottom dead center. And closes, our exhaust closes at 4 degrees after top dead center. Um... I'm probably going to have to make some adjustments here. I believe I want to be around the 115, 128 for my center lobe. I'm going to double check online with other, other people that have the same cams as me. Um, see what they're running for power, where it kicks in. Look at their dyno graph too, because you know the dyno tells, tells you when your power's in there, what you're making at different RPM and whatnot. So that's basically what I'm going to go by. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the uh, couple of videos I have. I'm just going to show you once again how I have it uh, set up here. Um, ideally, you'd want to have everything straight up and down when you're checking this. And top dead center is the most important thing to know when you do this. But when you, when you have the JWT cam gears, you can make adjustments. I think it's, every dot is two and a half degrees. So what you do is you loosen this off. Not necessarily all the way off, but just get it so you can pull the uh, um, the gear itself off. Then you can wrench your cam to wherever you need, put it back on, and uh, you know that you've advanced it, you know, two and a half degrees, ten degrees at most, whatever. And you, and you could do your basic math with your numbers that you already have. So, if you have any questions, like, you know, like I say, get on to kat.org and... Uh, and or, I mean, if if better yet, get on uh, my YouTube channel here, ask me some questions personally. I'll try to get back, you know, help you out best I can with whatever answers I have. So, cheers.